The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, David White. And welcome all to another excellent edition of the Power Trading Hour. And uh, what do we have? Uh, well, let's update this because I know it's uh, probably a, a second or two below. Uh, down about eight points, and I am not surprised. Uh, Friday, although I was under the weather, um, I sent out some updates for both the uh, Tech Insider and the and the uh, uh, Path of Least Resistance newsletters, which you can both get by going to the front page of TFNN and subscribing. You would have known the pattern I was looking for, and it is rather bearish. Um, don't have quite confirmation on that yet, but my guess is in the next couple of days we will. And that will probably suggest that we will go down and retest 3750-ish and probably break it. And I think that there may be a target down about 3600 on the S&P cash. And, of course, I'd been kind of thinking that we were at least going to get to 3900 We got there. I thought maybe earlier, a couple of weeks before that, thought maybe 4000 was doable. But we came down again. But uh, there's just uh, there aren't a lot of great. Uh, as I said, I was hoping for a burning bush. Didn't get one quite today for the top, other than uh, just a whole lot of nothing. Um, but uh, you know, we went up on light volume. We've gone down on light volume. Um, the one thing that we didn't get uh, on Thursday or Friday that I was looking for was some kind of capitulation. Everybody going short. Um, blowing out the lows and closing back in. Uh, we have everybody wanting to buy the lows. Everybody, and I heard, I saw some comments earlier in the day in the den about everybody being short. Uh, and my evidence is just the opposite of that. We had a lot of people that did short the market, but on the way back down, they did cover. Uh, but uh, we've got some fairly historically low uh, put call ratios, and uh, at least in the VIX. And that's generally, if you're not buying out of the money puts and calls, you're not expecting a big move in the market. So there aren't a lot of people that are set up for some kind of uh, big gap down. And generally, uh, why you don't always get it, it is, I like to say uh, it's this kind of same thing. You get a lot of warm water in the Gulf and you get a tropical storm and then maybe it develops into a hurricane. Well, uh, why we don't have that as much right now in the Gulf, we certainly have that, I think, in the market. And uh, as I said, uh, one of the uh, bigger patterns that I've looked that has a very high batting average could be confirming out here today. 877-927-6648. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. Um, I don't think that the pattern probably uh, ends up uh, confirming until Wednesday. But uh, I think uh, we're probably close. Today is kind of a good indication that you couldn't hold a high. And you don't have a lot of shorts. And volume was uh, lighter on a expiration day on Friday uh, than the, the days around it, which is also kind of weird. Uh, you can also email me at path at tfnn.com, and I will take your dulcet questions there, uh, which we have, I think, already. Uh, question uh, kind of uh, up there, uh, already took. Uh, some profits on there um, about my about lows. I'm just you know again um, a lot of people are asking for very long term predictions at least as far as I'm concerned. Um, 
you've got a lot of a mix of news headlines, and I don't want to outdrive my headlights. I am trading and am now trading, especially with the Fed, uh, with uh, Russia, war fears, with, um, you know, basically an administration that's at war uh, with uh, itself, uh, with the country on energy, uh, ill-advisedly. Um, we could be just like Europe right now that is in a huge problem. Uh, because it depended on the kindness of evil strangers like Russia for its energy when we offered to, uh, uh, you know, drill, baby drill and give you some of ours. Uh, they could probably count on us. But no, 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 no. We've got to appease the evil uh, that is, uh, is and was Putin at the time. But uh, again, if you're an idiot, um, there's no fixing stupid. And uh, Europe is suffering now for its, uh, uh, its uh, idiotic uh, policies, and uh, we can just hope that we make it through unscathed with the uh, stupid policies at least we have on energy and some others going on right now. But uh, eh, as my dad said, uh, they didn't give uh, brains to some people as much as they gave brains to a goat. Uh, what else do we have out here? Um, oh, I do have a sit rep. Um, some interesting things going on. Uh, quietly, I don't know if anybody talked about it because I wasn't around on Friday, the SEC approval of derivative single stock uh, ETFs on Friday. That kind of com- came and went. I don't know. I wasn't watching TV or anything. Uh, but soon, soon you'll be able to buy triples of Amazon and uh, Apple and Microsoft and all the big stocks that you want. I, the why the approval is there. I, I did read it. It's very thin on how they're going to run it. Um, there's probably not a day that goes by that I don't think of Jesse Livermore and uh, his book Reminiscence of a Stock Operator. But uh, to the begin with, um, there were these things called bucket shops back when he started trading right at the in uh, about 19 or about 1895 ish 1890 i think he started trav uh, trading and uh these were just basic con shops uh that ran a, a proverbial scam along the lines of uh, the sting where they delayed the horse races and uh actually made a lot of bets and stuff if anybody rem- uh, rem- knows that but he was uh, smarter than them, knew it was a scam, and would wait until uh, uh, positions opened up that they couldn't scam him out of his money. And then they would try to cheat him anyway, if you read the book. But uh, I always wonder about this and some of the other things that just kind of come very close. And the reason I, I bring this up is that they may not be totally useless, but my guess is that uh, much like the bucket shops, uh, Probably more than half the time, heads you lose, uh, tails they'll win. Um, it probably will be kind of tough. <laughs> How dare you? Anyway, we'll be back in a minute. inflation, where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a Tier 1 mining district. This is a large-scale, low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve in a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. 
Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ. Are you grinding in the market, but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader, simply looking to make your job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and the markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. Visit TFNN.com today and subscribe to David White's Ultimate Trading Newsletter for $119 a month and try all of our newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Take the path of least resistance at TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. And... Uh, we had somebody post uh, the link out here for at least one of them. I think there's five different companies that are going to have single stock futures. And I didn't write all of them down. I know they're rolling out across the summer. So it'll be a little while before all of them out there. But uh, this one, AXS, has Tesla, NVIDIA, PayPal, Nike, and Pfizer. So eh, a little bit of everything out here. Two times. Two time, fool. Three time, fool. Uh, of uh, these, but uh, it had a question in the email about uh, those and whether or not they will be useful. I think, um, although people tell me the quickest way to go to the poor farm is to trade the UVXY, um, since I actually know how the VIX is calculated, uh, there are a few times when, uh, just like Jesse Livermore, uh, the odds are kind of uh, on your side against the house and uh, there'll be times when you get uh, a, a movement uh, or that you can see a movement coming that it will be appropriate to probably use some of those but if you use them all the time you're destined to go broke so yeah um, just like he cleaned the house of the um, uh, the uh, of the uh, uh, of those uh, bucket houses um, I think you can probably make some money on it. The thing is, you're going to have to get a little history, see how they trade, and probably only take the trade when you get a little bit better uh, price than you actually thought you ever would. That means if, you are, if you're thinking you want to buy it there, buy it $2 less and put your order in there. And then if you get it, uh, you can really like it. If you liked it 2 bucks higher, you'll really love it 2 bucks lower. But uh, the thing is going to be a lot of times they're just going to be finding a great way uh, to uh, take you out of the trade. And uh, I don't know how close those are going to actually even track the underlying price of the uh, equity itself. But, uh, yeah, faster ways to get rid of your money. 
Uh, anyway, we're going to keep an eye out here on the market. As I said, uh, kind of gave up the whole pop today. Not surprised uh, to see a great deal of that. Uh, but the uh, proof of the pudding will probably come Wednesday. Uh, today and tomorrow are options rollover days where we're really kind of setting up um, all the moves through uh, September. Um, the September options expiration is probably the most important because it really sets up what everybody thinks is going to happen. My guess is that we're going to probably see some kind of setup uh, where everybody wants to get long right after November 4th this fall, but uh, I do digress. Okay, other things going on. Uh, oh, we got a little bit of history. And yeah, we'll do that. And it's all just a little bit of history repeating. On this day in 1968, Robert Noyce, Andy Grove, and Gordon Moore incorporate Intel in Santa Clara, California to build microprocessors. The first processor, the 4004, was released in 1971 for use in calculators, IBM uh, choice of Intel 88 processors for use in the IBM PC led to Intel's emergence as the premier manufacturer of processors still to this day, although I would say that AMD is encroached uh, because they uh, violated what Andy Grove uh, actually said. He had uh, one of those things where normally you put your name on, on the front of your desk. And I think if you're the CEO of a company, you, they probably know your name already. Anyway, he had one of those, and uh, it said, if we don't eat our own lunch, someone will. And uh, they, uh, eh, I'm going to say mm, 2016, 2017-ish, uh, went all woke and nuts and uh, decided to throw away a commanding lead. And uh, uh, AMD came back literally from the dead. And uh, that's a lot more. Anyway, uh, Andy Grove, um, there's a great book if you want to understand marketing high technology. Um, it's uh, from David Al, who was uh, along with these guys. He was kind of the marketing arm of um, Intel back in those days. And a lot of the principles uh, that uh, they espoused in the early days are ones that other companies picked up, uh, like Apple and others. But it's always interesting to see uh, that uh, someone comes along and thinks that they know innovation better than anybody else. And innovation ends up being getting rid of our our best people because uh, they dated someone 10 years ago. And that's what Intel did. Uh, they uh, proverbially threw away their seed corn uh, to uh, act all import, impotent out there. But uh, on this day in 1968. So I got a couple of questions already about uh, what do I think about uh, this uh, chip. Uh, deal and of course the Speaker of the House's husband uh, getting in. Um, does he know something we don't know? Well, I will tell you that the single best trader ever that has ever lived with the highest batting ra uh, average is Nancy Pelosi's uh, husband. So, do you think he is just the best trader in the world or do you think he has some kind of inside knowledge? Uh, even today, uh, ask about it. Um, she said, we just don't talk about those kinds of things. So, uh, well, I got some swamp land for you. Just inside of Miami uh, for sale. Uh, and, of course, uh, don't mind the crocodiles and alligators. They'll only bite you uh, once or twice. And then they'll take you down and tenderize you, let you uh, sit under the water for a while, find some big log to put you under, and, uh, and then come back and get you in about 30 days when you're nice and tasty. At least the way they like it. But, yeah, uh, who can think that someone who's made $325 million alone uh, on uh, trading uh, banking uh, uh, banks, which she's had a huge uh, control over in the last uh, 12 years, uh, that uh, her husband just kind of mysteriously all got uh, IPOs of all these spinoffs that all the MasterCard and Visa and all these other companies have had. I know it's not uh, limited to her. She's just turned it in uh, to being kind of the Tesla 
of corruption. So don't have much to say other than that. Does he know something? Uh, he's heavily buying uh, NVIDIA, and it may just be because he thinks that it's down there on low. There may be another reason, and that is uh, that there's a big uh, part of the provision for this uh, silicon chip thing coming through that's all about um, whether or not uh, you, they will reward uh, chip design in the United States, not just manufacturing. Big problem with manufacturing is that the EPA chases you around with a stick all the time, and nobody in their right mind wants uh, to try to build a uh, uh, a fabrication uh, uh, company. And if Intel didn't already have them here in the United States, they wouldn't build them here again. So I don't think if anything changes with the EPA, much is going to change with this. We'll be back in a minute. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, JDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. As we come back, uh... <laughs> Yes, uh, yes, uh, we hear from somebody out there in California. Uh, but uh, not only does he know how to do that, he knows how to get away with it. And there's nothing you can do about it. Okay, uh, to to what else do we have out here? Okay, uh, we're going to go through uh, some earnings here quickly, unless someone has some other questions. Uh, but that's it. Uh, uh, looking into the rearview mirror, we had some nice pops earlier in the day. Um, Bank of America came up a little bit, uh, gave it up again, very light volume out here today uh, on the pop above this. You had a little more on Friday. I think you ran the shorts. There just weren't that many of them. 
Uh, I'll have uh, a new reading for my subscribers to, uh, probably tonight or tomorrow. Uh, I'm running the uh, numbers and everything uh, for those. Uh, so we'll have a new list of highly shorted stocks. But uh, in the downside, you just kind of want to stay away from those and find the lightly uh, assaulted stocks shorted. Uh, but that's kind of eh, that's kind of it. Um, of course, uh, another one that had a pop today and gave it all up was the Goldman Sachs, and eh, gave most of the pop up anyway. Still have a gap out there for today. Um, it's at least sizable. You got some decent volume, but you gave up what uh, ten bucks uh, from the highs up here. Yeah, yeah, a lot of uh, iffy stuff out here. I don't see a great deal. Uh, to, 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 anyway, um, what do we have out here? SFY, another one out here. SFY, is that right? SYF, he said S. Okay, Synchrony Financial. I'll get this cleaned up here. Another one, kind of the same thing. You just uh, a lack a days ago bounce where you give most of, almost all of it back up uh, Charles Schwab C-A-H-W which is a little bit of the broker dealers uh, kind of the whole thing uh, popped a bit a couple of bucks gave it all back up and you may close uh, lower than the close on Friday on it uh, to PLD Yeah, ProLogic, which makes me want to know and think about curing this. Oh, we got uh, some other stuff out here. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> oh, Jimmy. Jimmy, Jimmy, give me a laugh. I'm going to have to, excuse me, I'm going to have to save this. Uh, gotta save that. Uh, uh. Hey, yep, 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 yep. That was well worth it, Jimmy. Thank you. Sometimes uh, some of the stuff that I get uh, alone from feedback from the listeners is worth the entire, ent entire day's pay. Uh, anyway, uh, ProLogix, uh, when we look at this, um, eh, kind of interesting. Did retest the top, gave it all back up, too. Uh, and I'm starting to see a theme here. After the bell tonight, uh, uh, one of the stocks that's held up the best in this downturn has been IBM. And, of course, they've been moving uh, toward uh, selling uh, uh, quantum computers. And they're considered at least to be thought of as uh, having a good business even in bad times, especially if they're going to be selling these quantum computers to the NSA, CIA, and everybody else. I think that they've got something working already, at least partially, if not uh, uh, totally, for breaking codes because they're so worried that other people are going to break our codes. Uh, but not so much that they want anybody to actually have codes that are unbreakable. But uh, you just kind of go on sideways. I think this will probably set some of the tone for the first hour tomorrow morning uh, as we go back and look at it. Uh, question to look at the SMHs uh, and NVIDIA SMH. So we'll look at that first. Eh, like I said, just about everything. You had a pop, gave it all up. Uh, not that much uh, interest in it. NVIDIA is probably bigger because, of course, Pelosi's husband was buying huge amounts of it. And that came out. You got a kind of a doji out here. Would be interesting to see whether or not we get a gap down tomorrow. And that sets a high in NVIDIA. Take a quick look at AMD. <laughs> oh, Jimmy, why don't you post that in the den? Yes, I do. <laughs> Ah, uh, okay. Um, advanced micro devices. You got just a little doji out here too, a little gop higher, but that's uh, that's kind of it. Uh, but we shall see. Anyway, um, 
CRK. Take a quick look at that. Comstock resources, a little bounce. Of course, Dr. Copper out here has been telling us we've got Ebola. Um, and I think that bounced a bit today. But, uh, you know, other than the heat, I don't see much in this. You've got almost nothing in a bounce. 1068, it looks like a, a retest. Uh, take a quick look at UNG today. Um, and I, just a hot summer has made it. I still, uh, I was thinking that, if, that somewhere around this area, 24, 25 would hold, and it didn't. It blew up and blew everybody out to 1828 on UNG. But again, probably, yeah, you made some money. But uh, probably the real movement and a bigger ABC starts in August on this, uh, on uh, natural gas. Okay, see if we have anything else out here on the earnings calendar. Not for tonight, uh, but we're starting to see them pick up. Uh, now, tomorrow, after the uh, close, is NFLX. A lot of debates on what's going on on it and why you should uh, – every debate I heard uh, was somebody t saying that I should buy Disney, which made me think that maybe there's some bots out there uh, and a program to get people to buy Disney based on anything Netflix says tomorrow. I don't know how much I'd want to do that. As I said, uh, Park's doing well. Streaming services uh, all kind of suck, the big one. So, yeah, you got a little bounce out here. No volume on Disney, too. Uh, we also have in the morning, I think, yeah, uh, we have J&J. &J. Uh, Johnson & Johnson. You just, I don't see a whole lot out here that gives you any indication on that. Uh, did uh, see that the uh, CEO of uh, Lockheed Martin was out making the rounds today trying to talk up that cheap or to the uh, chip uh, program from the Congress uh, and uh, basically warning us of the same dangers of uh, cutting our nose off to uh, spite our face on gas over the last year and a half uh, with chips. Um, you actually have uh, a nice pattern. I would have liked to see 39466 hold today, but at least you're doing it on half the volume of the June 17th low on Lockheed Martin. We shall return. TFNN has been your trusted source of analysis for bonds, metals, stocks, commodities, and options for years. And we are happy to announce that we are bringing that same caliber of analysis for the Forex market. Teddy Kekstad has 30 plus years of experience in Forex trading, commodity risk management, Forex hedging, volatility, and so much more. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with elite coverage of all major currency pairs, including the DXY, Euro Dollar, Pound Dollar, Aussie Dollar. Dollar, dollar yen, dollar Swiss franc, and so much more. Teddy will recommend specific trades when the market presents them and provide updates throughout the week when warranted. For the month of July, inaugural members to the Tiger Forex Report will receive 25% off the monthly subscription for as long as they're subscribed. Just use promo code TEDDY25 to lock in the added savings. This offer is good only for the month of July, so do not miss your opportunity to save on the Tiger Forex Report. TFNN, educating investors. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. 
TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. A prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. As we return, we're going to start uh, looking into the next couple of days. As I said, uh, IBM after the bell tonight, uh, Netflix, J&J. &J, uh, did we do J&J? &J? I don't think I did J&J. &J. This before market open tomorrow, too. So join us in the uh, Tiger's Den tomorrow. Generally, uh, as I have time, I post uh, any of the earnings and the response to them. Uh, but uh, you got uh, eh, just a just uh, covering this gap up from Friday, which I think was uh, the whole gap thing was an anomaly. Uh, as I said, if you want to dig deeper, you can go into my newsletters, uh, and I posted it on Friday. Uh, a rather complex pattern, uh, to, 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 but it has not confirmed yet. But I think it will. Uh, Novartis. So maybe we're starting to see a little bit more biotech come out there. Um, dark cloud cover on this one, um, or bearish engulfing, I guess, uh, would be a better description of this candle um, with some decent volume. Let's take a look at the IBB real quick. I like the IBB just because it's got 200 stocks in it, and for a very uh, volatile uh, index like uh, biotech, it's a little better. You got kind of the same thing out here. Eh, not as not as pronounced. Uh, Ali Financial Hasbro. Uh, you know, generally this stock gets strong about about August or September, so I'm not surprised to see it at lows. Um, of course, uh, there haven't been any good movies, and you, we probably have to thank uh, uh, Steven Spielberg uh, and uh, George Lucas uh, for really making the tie-in between movies and and uh, 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 the stuff that you sell. Uh, George Lucas uh, got Star Wars made by giving away all the money he would have made as a director. Um, for any of the rights to selling this stuff, uh, like uh, toy uh, uh, Luke uh, Skywalker's and all that other stuff, and of course now that's uh, it's kind of a hand-in-hand -hand thing. You don't make a movie without uh, looking at what you can sell on the back end of it for toys and merchandising and T-shirts and everything else that all goes in uh, before any movie uh, film. God, I feel like a, I feel like Grandpa here talking about film in this day and age, uh, before any video is shot. Uh, although I think few people still use film, but I don't think anybody with color. Um, anyway, uh, doesn't look as bad you one with one think, but again, uh, better seasonally to be looking at this in late September. I'm just wondering if with all the streaming stuff. There hasn't been a big hit out of the streaming for toys except Baby Yoda. I'm trying to remember. Maybe somebody else in the uh, 
uh, in the uh, den knows of any other toy that have sold well. Um, I think uh, with uh, what they did with uh, with uh, uh, the latest Star Wars stuff is make people not want to buy anything. Maybe that was their plan, uh, but uh, hard to say. Anyway, Hasbro uh, tomorrow morning is that it? Yeah. Uh, after uh, the close tomorrow night is J.B. Hunt, J.B. and T. Right? J.B. H. T. He said, "I knew I had it wrong." Um, transportation services, of course, uh, uh, an economy slowing down did have a very good retest of its lows on about uh, 65 percent of the volume. Uh, back here at 153.92, I'm wondering if that's enough. If uh, if energy prices continue to climb back to their previous highs. And again, you know, 4% higher today, not a big deal. Psychologically, probably a bigger deal with crude getting back above 100 bucks. Uh, and uh, yeah, you should have filled your tanks up yesterday. I think that's probably the answer to it all. Um, but uh, yeah, kind of interesting. Uh, so we're off uh, 11 points after being up some 40 points, off 16 points now after being up some 40 points earlier on the S&P cash. But, uh, yeah, not much is going on here. Okay. Oh, let's get back to our earnings foreshadowing. See anything else tomorrow? Not really. Let's go to Tuesday. Let's go to Wednesday. Uh, Wednesday, after the market closed, we've got Tesla. And my mom says, uh, don't say anything uh, about uh, uh, someone or a company if you can't say something good. And I had somebody ask me, what what is actually good with Tesla, although you think it's a 40 or $60 a, a, a company? Um, probably the best thing are the patents that they have uh, on their uh, uh, silicon uh, carbide chips. And um, it's this is kind of one of those deep in the woods things where if they had a competitive advantage, it came down to their engine and uh, power delivery systems. But early on, I think in 2017 or 2018, um, he decided to go to, uh, 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 I wanted to say silicon dioxide, but that's not right. Silicon graph. Anyway, uh, not the same kind of silicon you see silicon chips made out of today. I'm just having a senior moment. Uh, and uh, this kind of silicon actually will work at much higher temperatures. But uh, the regular silicon that all the chips are made out of, about 175 degrees, um, is about as high as you're going to get centigrade. Um, so, no, not silicon nitride. Uh, silicon, I'll think about it during the break. Uh, but uh, the uh, silicon graphene, not gra graphene, uh, yeah. anyway, uh, can go to about 300 uh, degrees centigrade. And that's what he's using in the power chips. Uh, normally, you know, probably through, I don't know, 2010, uh, MOSFETs were the big thing for going ahead and taking uh, power and uh, converting it. Silicon implants. Well, certainly those are worth something, uh, and they uh, they make a uh, <laughs> some other stuff. I don't know. Yeah, merchandising, merchandising. Uh, well, these are the chips, so they're actually better and f uh, more efficient. But if there's one thing that goes on, I'll look it up during the break. Um, uh, that. Uh, that these chips do is they're just very much more efficient than what other people are using uh, for the power conversion. Uh, the uh, engine, uh, the motors, let me say this correct, in a Tesla run off of AC, but the batteries are DC. So you got to get the DC to AC and probably something like 1200 volt, volts. I think that's what the Tesla engines are on. Uh, and so you got to go DC to AC to, to uh, you know, uh, a whole lot of volts. And uh, they're using this uh, different kind of silicon, which I'll look up during the break and remind you of. But that's probably the biggest competitive advantage is their electric motor and uh, their power delivery system. But the rest of the stuff, 
uh, no different than anybody else. We'll be back in a minute. Vista Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vista Gold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vista Gold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC capital market assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Vista Gold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vista Gold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. And as all things out there, stuff finally comes to me a minute or two after the commercial. It may just be the pressure of being on the air uh, or having to stand and deliver, but uh, eh, a minute or two later, I actually think of exactly what I wanted to talk about. Uh, in 2018 or 2017, ST Micro uh, Electronics um, started delivering a product that uh, they actually uh, worked on in the uh, uh, for uh, Tesla, and it was this uh, new uh, silicon carbide uh, chip. And there just isn't a lot of silicon carbide out there uh, capable of being used for this. Uh, so there hasn't been a big push. I know Infineon is uh, trying to do the same thing, but there are a bunch of patents uh, that uh, Tesla has around this. They gave up all the kind of worthless patents, but they've kept the ones around this uh, chip for converting the DC to high voltage AC that's far um, more efficient and uh, about half the size and half the weight. Uh, and this is kind of the biggest part of taking all those batteries and turning them into rotating wheels. But uh, 
again, uh, ST kind of took off on that for a while, but now everybody kind of knows what they should expect and the prices kind of figured in. But uh, I think uh, at least uh, if Tesla has done anything, it showed the way that you probably need to start thinking about technology for high-powered devices opposed to, you know, your iPhone, which is all about low power. You're going to need to, in these kind of cars, really uh, be able to move a whole lot of amps. I'm talking technical. Sell when you can, not when you have to. We'll be back tomorrow, and we'll talk about some of these earnings from you tom uh, tomorrow morning and other things, too. Building wealth trading in the stock market seems impossible to 